Hello everybody, this video is going to be my all used up. This is not like for a specific month. Um, I'm just going to do it now for when I get like a lot of products that I've used up together because um, I did start off doing it like monthly and just for the last couple of months I haven't had that much that I've used up so I was like if I do a video on it it's only going to be like a three minute video so I thought I'm just going to do it now so that when I get a few products like quite a few products together that I've used up then I'll do a video. I've got my bag that's full up and I'll just go straight into it. The first thing I've used up is the all nighter spray by Urban Decay, the um, makeup setting spray. So I've got a little bit left in it but I can't get it out with the spray. So that's all gone. One is on the way to me in the post, a new one. Um, Impulse body spray. Um, this is called Tease. I don't I don't know when I got I got this like ages and ages ago and I can't even remember how I got it. Um I don't this I didn't like the smell of this at all. It was horrible. It said with zesty pineapple and exotic wood scents, it just smelled like I couldn't smell the pineapple in it at all, it just smelled of like wood. It just it smelled I didn't really like the smell at all. Um but I've said in my other videos I don't actually use body sprays as like body sprays. I use them I take them in my bag with me and um, if I go into like a toilet and I always get worried that I'm going to come out smelling like that toilet so then I would just quickly slide do it up over me just with one of these so I don't use it as a perfume as such so but that one's all gone um, next thing I used is my travel um, travel size Dove deodorant and I really like the smell of this one. It says cucumber and green tea scent. And you can really smell the cucumber in it. And I just really like the smell of this. Um, I always used to have this in like my bag or something. Um, just to take out. And if I felt I needed to, just like psh, psh, under my arms. Um, that's all used up. I don't know if I'll get another one. I probably will. I don't know if it'll be Dove. Because I don't know if they test on animals or not. But I'll obviously I'll have a look and find out. And I... Another thing I used was the St. Ives Apricot Body Scrub and this, oh there's something in it, oh there's one in there caught in it hiding, um, this, it smelled of, you know, like a cream, like a really creamy moisturising scent, that's what it smelled of and I did actually really like this, um, I'm not going to be purchasing it again at the moment because I've got some other scrubs that um, I need to use as well. But um, yeah, I definitely highly recommend this. It's a very good scrub. Um, I then used up my Coco Body Butter from Boots. I got this in a um, like a set from my friend, I think for my birthday or for Christmas or something. And it was just like a little travel body moisturiser. Um, it just smelled of like cocoa butter really um, but yeah that was an okay moisturiser and also from another friend I got a set of um, like body bits as well and I got a very cherry body spray in the set and um, I just used this just like underneath my perfume I'll do like three sprays of this underneath my perfume and then put my perfume on just to make it last a bit longer um, it smelled just of like really like strong cherry really um, yeah it was just it's, it was a nice smell but it was quite if you don't like fruit and cherry smells then you really wouldn't have liked this because it was a very strong cherry smell um, and then to go with that this also came in the pack and it was a body butter and this was also in the smell like very cherry and again this smell of just like really strong cherries um I wasn't overly keen on this I think this was from Boots yeah Boots um I wasn't overly that keen on like this body butter because it was so thick like really 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 thick and it just took so long to like rub in to your skin 
so you would just rub it and it would just like smear instead of actually rubbing in so I wasn't overly that keen on that but um, I got it all used up anyway I then used up the elf lotion wipes I got them in the sheer butter and like these and you just opened them and you took them out and I was actually very surprised with these I really wasn't holding out much hope um, but I thought oh, well, I'll just use them anyway because I don't like wasting things and they were actually really good I actually really really liked them they they come with 15 sheets and I used these more like when I got out of the shower I didn't use them on my face but I used them on like my body and I, I used to use like two two sheets um, like each time I got out of the shower so yeah, they did obviously last like long lasted about two weeks or so but um, yeah I thought they were actually really good they did leave my skin feeling moisturised and I could still feel it a bit like the morning after when I got up so yeah I was very impressed with them um, face wipes to take my makeup off they're simple ones um, I've spoke about these in my other video these are the only face wipes I ever use to take my makeup off and I love them yep so use them up I used up my Ed Hardy perfume I don't know what is this in hearts and daggers and it just looks like that and oh, I just love the smell of it can't get enough of it so I'm use that one up my elf complexion perfection this is the only makeup um, that I've used up so far it seems to be taking me ages to use my makeup up but um, yep yeah, I showed this in my other video I think and it was all in bits but it's all now used up and gone my um, soap and glory daily shine conditioner I love 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 the soap and glory shampoo and conditioner love the smell of it it leaves your hair smelling really nice and you can still smell it in your hair like a couple of days later um because i wash my hair i used to wash it every other day but i've stopped that now because it was getting really greasy quickly so i now wash it when it needs washing so i could go like three four days without washing it and now my hair seems to have settled in and it doesn't get greasy anymore um yes yeah, so you can smell the smell of this in your hair for like a couple of days and I love it um, I've got other shampoo and conditioner that I used to use up but once I've used them up I'm, this is what I'm going to be going back to um, my dry shampoo um, from Superdrug it's the head in the clouds one and it just smells really fresh and fruity and I really liked this is my favourite flavour or smell flavour smell you know what I mean of them um, of like the dry shampoo um, I haven't repurchased any more because I don't know whether it was doing my hair much good really but I think I might try maybe a more expensive one so if anyone's got any like recommendations of a good um, dry shampoo leave it in the comment box and let me know um, I used up all of my Be Clean Melting Gel Cleanser I just took this in the shower and just used it as like a face wash to help take off my makeup um, I didn't think it was okay it worked it took my makeup off and it was good but it I didn't find it any different to my soap and glory um, peaches and clean um, like face wash stuff so um, I'm glad I tried it and I won't I'm probably not going to purchase this again because I've got my soap and glory one and I'm quite happy with that and like I say I didn't find any overly major difference between them so um, I then used up, oh to go with the Boots Cocoa um, Body Butter was the Cocoa Body Wash and um, got all of that used up. It was okay um, but I have my normal body wash so I'm not going to worry about repurchasing this again. The Another thing I used up was the Saint Tropez um, Gradual Tan. I got this in one of my beauty boxes and I wasn't going to actually use it but um, I actually started mixing it in with my moisturiser so I put a little bit of this in then my moisturiser and then I would um, mainly put it on my arms and like sort of my chest area really um, and I actually liked that because it made not like not too 
tanned, as in you look like you put fake tan on, because I like, I suppose diluted it down with my moisturiser. So, yeah, so I used that up. Um, some face pads, my 100% um, pure cotton double face pads, used up one of them. Avon um, Secret Fantasy, I think it was. Yeah, Secret Fantasy. Um, I do quite like the smell of this, but um, Avon sell in China now, so they obviously test on animals. So um, I won't be repurchasing that again. Um, I used up a um, from Snowberry a cellular regeneration night cream. Um, it was okay, nothing super special. I just wanted to get used up because that was one of the sample things I got. Um, Origins Plant Scription Anti Aging Serum. Um, again, it was another sample that I just wanted to get used up and it was alright. Um, another thing from Origins was the No Puffy Cooling Mask for Puffy Eyes. Um, you can still see I've got, it looks like I've still got some left in there but I can't get any more out of it. Um, I don't, I don't have puffy eyes, I just have dark circles, I don't actually have bags. But I still used this and it was okay, it was nothing, I didn't... To me it was nothing special, but then I don't have bags, so whether it would work if you did have bags or not, I don't know. But um, it still made my eyes, like underneath my eyes, feel like fresh and everything, so it was okay. Uh, my simple Kind to Skin Hydrating Moisturiser, all used up. Um, I think I've got as much out of this as I can, and I was going to get my dad to cut the top off. But um, they've actually been on a holiday, so I haven't been able to. Um, so yeah, if I, when I use another one, I might ask my dad to like cut the top off again and see if I'll get everything out of it. And then my last things I used up were um, the Umberto Galani. I can't. I don't know how you say it. Um, Pure Beauty and Intense Beauty shampoo and conditioner. <coughs> These were travel size um, ones that I got in a set from a friend um, for either Christmas or my birthday and um, these are okay um, they smell quite nice and yeah they're just like normal shampoo and conditioner really nothing superb to say about them um, I was going to throw these away but I'm actually going to keep these because my next shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to use are like really big bottles they're like like industrial bottles for um, like hairdressers so I just ordered them off Amazon they, they're bedhead ones which I'm not sure if they test on animals but um, I got them ages and ages and ages ago and they've just been in my cupboard and I keep just buying more shampoo to use and I keep forgetting that I've got them so I'm like right I'm going to use them up now but because they're so big I don't want to just leave them in the shower because they're too big so um, I kept other bottles to dispense them in and but then I was like well I need to remember which one's shampoo and which one's conditioner so I'm going to keep these and obviously dispense the shampoo into the shampoo one and <clears throat> the conditioner into the conditioner at least then I know which one's which and then I can just dispense like it into here use this up then put some more in until the big cartons are gone um, that's the plan anyway so yeah that's my all used up products for the last couple of months so I think I've done quite well I've used quite a lot up I'm gradually working my way through all the products I've got because I do have a lot so um, yeah I'm just gradually trying to work my way through them um, yeah let me know about the dry shampoo if anyone's got any good recommendations for good dry shampoo um, and let me know if anyone else has used anything up and try and spur me on and yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye